Looking for an idyllic New England road trip? I suggest a scenic coastal Maine road trip from Boston to Bar Harbor. There are so many wonderful things to do, from spotting amazing lighthouses on the rocky shores of Maine to whale watching off the coast and enjoying the surprisingly clear blue waters of beaches in Kennebunkport. There is something for everyone. Oh, and if you like food, be sure to stay till the end to find out some epic foodie spots. Come with me and my mom as we drive the scenic Maine coastal route over five days as we enjoy both the scenic, adventurous, and cultural side of Maine. First, I had to fly to Boston to meet my mom, where we then headed to go up north to Bar Harbor, Maine as our final destination. Depending on the time you arrive, you may want to stop in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, which is on the way to Maine, where you can grab some lunch. So now, leaving Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and heading to Kennebunk Port, Maine. Let's go. Kennebunk Port, Maine is a little over an hour and a half from Boston. We arrived and checked in to Sandy Pines Campground, one of the best campgrounds in the USA. I was bringing my mom glamping. We checked in at the general store where you can get some provisions and we headed past the RVs, A-frames, and went to our glamping suite. These weren't just any tents, they were really nice glamping tents. I felt like I was on a safari, but in Maine. Wow, come inside here. This is so cool. We are here at Sandy Pines Campground and they also have glamping tents and other unique stays. And this is so cool. It's real furniture. This bed looks so comfortable and ah, so nice. We have like a table here to eat on and there's also a fridge as well they said we have air conditioning too because it is quite hot here actually for maine in the summer and yeah there's also a heater or kind of fall if it gets a little chilly you have something and yeah the air conditioning is right here and it looks like a place to store some place stuff and a hair dryer so you could get your hair done and they have these bath houses so let's see what it looks like there's a toilet and shower i think you have the area to yourself it's the toilet and the shower. And honestly, it's not too bad for camping. After we checked in, it was time to explore Cape Porpoise and get some food. So we're here at the Cape Fear Chowder House in Cape Porpoise. It's about 10 minutes away from Sandy Pines Campground. And what's more me than getting fish and chips and some New England chowder? I am definitely going to try a lobster roll at some point, but for now I was really feeling some New England chowder because I missed it from when I used to live up in New England. But for now, we have this beautiful view in Cape Porpoise and all the fishing boats and you can see you're gonna have some really fresh seafood when you're up here in Maine and definitely this place has been here since the 1950s you're gonna want to check it out there's some things you need to try when you're in New England one is clam or seafood chowder and when you're in Maine you must try everything blueberry including blueberry pie after enjoying the views and food it was time to go head to see Kenny Bunkport Maine Kennebunk and Kennebunkport, Maine are two cute towns connected by a bridge. You may have heard of Kennebunkport as the summer residence for the bushes. I love the resort small town feel of Kennebunkport. While it is small, there are plenty of shops, restaurants, and amazing beaches nearby. We had a perfect little afternoon going shopping, enjoying the great weather we were having, and even you can go get some ice cream at Aunt Marie's, which is pretty famous for it. There's just so many little cute shops here and even free libraries. You can find some books to go by the pool and relax. Which is exactly what we did when we got back to the Sandy Pines campground. So tired after flying into Boston and driving to Kenny Bunkport, I got a sandwich to go and enjoyed before waking up early the next morning to get breakfast in town in Kenny Bunkport. Good morning, I'm here at Mornings in Paris and they have such a cute shop here with dining outside as well as inside and it's air conditioned, thank goodness, because it is actually quite hot in Maine. Just going to pick up a crepe because they have the Maine cafe area and then they have the creperie there, down there. So I am just got a turkey and brie crepe and a ham and cheese croissant sandwich. So 
We'll see how that goes. I got an oat milk latte, and we also got the turkey and brie crepe, which looks really, really good. They make it in a separate building and have a little creepery and then the cafe area. But the coffee here looks really good, and it definitely is a pop and cafe. A lot of people sitting outside. They have the whole like Parisian look with the seats, but I'm personally too hot, so we're just sitting inside here. And my mom's with me on this trip, which I'm super excited about. But yeah. I don't know. Can I steal a bite in here? Okay. All right, I'm gonna taste it. Mm. This is good. Very good, great. Also got a ham and cheese croissant, heated up. But one thing I love, I love when a coffee shop doesn't charge you extra for milk. They just give you the oat milk or the almond milk. I don't know, that's in my pet peeve when everywhere is charging like a dollar extra. So this is, coffee shop definitely has a special place in my heart now. Well, you could take a scenic trolley tour. We decided to hit the road on our own and go on Ocean Ave for an ocean drive. This is one of the best things to do when you're in Kenny Bunkport. Our first stop was St. Anne's Episcopal Church, which is a historic church located right on the water. They even do mass sometimes outside. It is a stone church that was built in the 1800s. Okay, so we just left St. Anne's Episcopal <laughs> Church. It's a little bumpy, it's a little gravel road. And now we're just heading on Oceans Avenue. And this is a really beautiful scenic drive. And actually, where you can see where the 41st and 43rd president live, and they have their summer house for years, Walker's Point. So let's go check that out next. We just pulled off of Ocean's Drive, and as you can see, we are here facing the home, the summer home of the Bushes, uh, where the 41st and 43rd president would come in the summers. And now you can come here and enjoy the view and take a little walk around. They allow 15 minute parking, and you can't stop along the road if there's no parking, but there's always people leaving and coming and going, so you'll be able to find a spot. But it's so beautiful here. It's just out here on this peninsula and they have a massive home. How nice it would be to spend summers here in Maine. But for now, we're gonna continue on our journey of seeing this area of Kenny Bunk and Kenny Bunkport and the places around it. It was pretty hot, so we decided to go to the general store in Goose Rock Beach to grab some coffee to go and head to the beach. So we're here at Goose Rocks Beach and it is hot out in Maine, but this place is so beautiful. You see along the coast, just these really New England-esque uh, homes. Honestly, I love it. And the, it's low tide right now, so the water is all the way out here, but usually the water goes up to the rocks up there, somebody was telling me. But let's see how cold the water is. Uh. And oh my gosh, this water is so crystal clear. I love it. Honestly, I really don't like murky water. So when I came here, I looked at the water and I'm like, dude, am I in the Caribbean? This is like crystal clear. Oh my gosh. But it is colder than the Caribbean, definitely for sure. It is still the warmest, honestly, this water will be, but it is really cold. But look, you can see people are walking out here on sandbars as well. It's pretty awesome. And one of the most beautiful, like, I think underrated areas of Maine, Kenny Bunkport, and right around here, you definitely want to explore the area. This is near Cape Corpus, and the beaches out here are just, like, so nice. Right now, the water's warm when I just got here. It was deeper over there when you're in the shallow part. Perfect. Okay, so when you're in Cape Porpus, we went to Goose Rocks Beach, and if you're looking just to get a sandwich to bring with you to the beach, or you just need something on the go, I would definitely come to the Cape Porpus Kitchen. It has basically all these like different types of sandwiches or other things and food you can come get and bring it to the cabin or to your glamping tent. But we're just gonna grab a quick sandwich here, maybe a drink, and take it to go, and then explore more of Kenny Bunkport. Let's go. The Cape Porpoise Kitchen not only had great food options that you could take with you to go to your glamping or RV, but also they had cool souvenirs as well and a little 
seating area inside. This little midday snack, got this Torino sandwich. Mmm, has salami in it, cheese, pesto, very good. After relaxing a bit, we headed back into town and meandered around and ate some more food. Okay, so I'm here at HP Provisions and it's like this general store and it's actually awesome. They have like seating inside, so if you wanna grab a coffee or do what I did, I got the small blueberry soft serve ice cream. They have nine flavors and you're in Maine, so you gotta have everything blueberry, at least in my opinion. But yes, I'm just here for a little bit. I had to send a few emails and do some stuff and get out of the sun for a bit because it is one of the hottest weeks they've had the entire year here in Maine. But yeah, so far, so good. Oh my god, this is so good. After having dessert before dinner, we walked over to the famous Clam Shack to see how good their lobster rolls actually are. We're here at the Clam Shack, and it's been here since 1968, and it's pretty well known before, but like the president, 41 and 43, they would come here, and there's a bunch of pictures when you go inside the market here of them having a bunch of seafood from here, or just like the president's uh, coming here. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. I decided to try a main lobster roll here. Honestly, I don't usually get lobster rolls, but I thought I might as well try it in one of the best places to get it. And not only that, when I got it, I thought it was pretty funny. They actually give you a pin. I put the pin on my purse, actually. But yeah, you get a pin, and then you also get a free ice cream coupon. It came to about $35 and something odd cents and that included the lobster roll fries as well as coleslaw and ketchup so let's see how it tastes I put mayo and butter on it I asked the guy what I should put and that's what they said so let's see how big this is because $35 is a lot for me to spend on a sandwich I don't know about you let me know in the comments would you spend $35 on a lobster roll but I'm betting it's gonna be one of the freshest lobster rolls that I ever had. And it's ready, let's go get it. So this is actually where you order and that's where you pick it up. So I got the lobster box and all I'm gonna say is one thing. I don't usually order lobster rolls or whatever, but all I can say is this might be one of the smallest and I'm also like grown up in New England, so I know what lobster roll usually is and usually it's in like kind of like a bun. Not like this, but let's taste it. I put butter as well as mayo in it, and I'll tell you how it is. Mm. There is quite a bit of lobster roll meat in there, but I was definitely surprised by the size, to be honest. Maybe when I try it at one other location in Maine, we can compare the size of it, but yeah, definitely pretty small. But it tastes good. Usually lobster rolls aren't what I go for, but one in Maine, definitely, I would try it once at least. But I'm gonna dig in before the rest of it, or just to enjoy the sunset and everything. But yeah, definitely thought it would be larger, especially for $35. Would you get it? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, I guess it is the place to be in Kenny Bunk Port. It's right in between Kenny Bunk and Kenny Bunk Port. But yeah, I think it's kind of overpriced in my opinion. Dust turned in tonight. We decided to go listen to some live music at Ryan's Corner House Irish Pub. It's gonna take a long, long to get us through the night. Daniel Young, right there. Thank you very much. So we're here at Sandy Pines late at night, and it's so pretty. I love these fairy tale lights they have. Tomorrow we're waking up early for an exciting adventure. We're both parting ways and doing something pretty exciting and very main. Tit and Sierra have been really nice and just hearing nature and like the fresh smell of the air, honestly, it really makes me like living or the idea of living out in the countryside. Something that I think about, honestly, this part of Amin is so beautiful. We're only a mile away from the beach we went to today, which was so beautiful. It was called Goose Rocks Beach. Highly recommend. And yeah, everything's been super peaceful. Now just gonna have a giant whoopie pie. I don't know what it is about Maine and their whoopie pies, but they make them 
huge and they make them everywhere. But let's go inside and chill. Look how big this whoopie bar is. Wow, best whoopie pie ever. The next morning I woke up early and so did my mom because we both were going on two separate adventures. I was going on an adventure whale watching excursion and my mom was going to go on a main lobster tour. First we went to go check out a local coffee shop, the Coffee Roasters of the Kenny Bunks. Home to $1 drip coffee which is amazing and also great egg sandwiches. After eating, we checked into our respective tours and I headed out on my adventurous whale watch. New England Eco Adventures runs adventure whale watching tours which can be hard on bad back, so my mom decided to do a Maine Lobster Tour with Rugosa Lobster Tour. The whale watch tour brings you to Boone Island and finds the best spots for your chance to see marine wildlife over 4 hours on a high speed rib boat reaching up to 45 miles per hour. The best time to watch the whales are between June and October, with the best months being July and August. As we got out of the harbor, we started picking up speed, and not only that, we saw some wildlife pretty close to shore. It was pretty special to have the ability to fly by large tourist boats and also be able to be super close to whales. I got it! Oh, here's the baby! New England Eco Adventures boasts a 97% sighting rating, and if you don't see one, they'll give you credit so you can come back another day. But you can be sure you might see some mink whales, some humpback whales, and we got lucky to see even a mom with her baby. On board, there was an eco-specialist that told us all about how they are able to identify the different whales based off of their tails that have the birth marks on them. Next, we headed to Boone Island, where they told us a haunting story that you'll have to just take the tour to find out more about, and saw a bunch of seals. The four hours flew by and we headed back to Cunny Bunkport and then got back in a car to head all the way up to Bar Harbor, Maine. I love about a Maine road trip are all the ice cream stands and this Blueberry Hill Corner ice cream stand is one you need to stop at. Here at Blueberry Hill Dairy and I really wanted to get a blueberry ice cream, hard ice cream, and I got the blueberry sweet cream which is seasonal. And this place is super cute. They have a drive up area or counter area you can eat in. And my mom got the moose traps. And this is, this is their kitty size. And this is a small, so I could have done this. But I love my ice cream, so we are happy to be here. It took us three and a half hours to get from Kenny Bunkport to Bar Harbor, but finally we made it and we got some food. So we just arrived to Getty's. We got into Bar Harbor late tonight at around like 7.30. I had to stop for ice cream and I went to the Blueberry Hills Dairy Farm to get like a small ice cream which ended up being like massive. That's why I guess I'm not that hungry and it's nine. But I came here because it had really good reviews and a lot of places were busy including this one and I decided to get the uh, shrimp scallop scampi and my mom got a haddock sandwich. But otherwise, yeah, I'm hungry and tired. <laughs> and we drove a long way. It's about three and a half hours north of Kenny Bunkport. And then, yeah, we're just kind of going with the flow. No, been to Acadia National Park a few times. So I've done a lot of the hikes, and depending on the weather, I'll decide what I do tomorrow and what we do. But uh, for now, we're gonna eat because I'm hungry. But so far, the salt cottages that we checked into are really amazing, and I'm gonna show them during the day tomorrow because it's super cute. And we have a view of the water. For dinner, we enjoyed resting by the fireplace and pool and then headed to bed early because we were both pretty tired after a long drive. Good morning! I am in love with my little cottage. I'm going to do a room tour when it gets a little lighter out. The sun just rose and technically you could actually see it from the property because they have all these white Adirondack chairs that just face the water 
And yeah, I missed it a little, by a little bit because I was tired and wanted to sleep. But I love that the room here has a um, Keurig machine so I can have some coffee here before I start the day. We have a reservation to go to the top of Cadillac Mountain. And Cadillac Mountain is known for being like the best place for a sunrise. But now because of a reservation system the National Park Service has in implemented you can't just like wake up and go with it like like the last time I came here three years ago it was really nice we were able just to wake up early when we wanted to and go there when we knew there was gonna be good weather that day and now you have to either do it way in advance or you get a chance 48 hours before at 10 a.m. to see if you can get a sunrise ticket we are gonna get to see what the drive up there is like and I'll take you along with me but first I need to make this cup of coffee not only do you have coffee in your rooms, there's also a place inside you can get some coffee and pastries and relax. And I grabbed a cup of coffee to go because we were going to be heading to Cadillac Mountain. And I'm addicted to coffee and need a bunch of it. Good morning from the Salt Cottages. Oh my gosh, this place is really picturesque. And we have a oceanfront view. But here you can come grab coffee where you go to reception. They have a little cafe for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I just got some coffee because we're heading to go to Cadillac Mountain. And you have to actually make a reservation. So I made one for 9 a.m. so we can start off the day bright and early. The Salt Cottages are perfectly located and only about a 17 minute drive from the top of Cadillac Mountain. Weather here can be a hit or a miss. Sometimes it can be extremely foggy, but the weather does blow through quite quickly. Cadillac Mountain is famous for being the most easterly place you can watch the sun rise in the US. It's 9 a.m. We had a reservation up. It's about a 17 minute drive on the summit road to Cadillac Mountain. We have a bit of a foggy day, it seems, but yeah, it's nice still. And it is beautiful. They have a lot of easy walking paths made for people of all ability levels. But yeah, I just couldn't come here for sunrise this time, but I've been here for sunrise before. And it is amazing, so if you have a clear day or a good day, I would definitely come on and try to do the reservation system because you need to get a reservation now. But yep, this is the summit of Cadillac Mountain. Let's see what we can see now. It wasn't perfect. We waited a while and the wind in the clouds blew past us and we got some good views of some of the islands. We stayed about an hour until it was time to head back to Bar Harbor City so we could have our food walking tour. We're about to meet up with Main Day Ventures. They meet right here in the city center of Bar Harbor at the Village Green. I'm really excited. We're going to do their savory day culinary walking tour. And I'm really excited to see some of what Bar Harbor has to offer. We just went to Cadillac Mountain this morning and it was really nice. While we didn't get to see sunrise, it was really mystical with the fog rolling in over the hills and mountains and islands and it would clear off and then all of a sudden we'd have an amazing view. Let's go and meet our guide. Uh, they don't wanna be on camera, so I will just be covering the food and sharing with you some of the best things to eat when you're in Bar Harbor. Met by the town green and then started off on our tour. We're starting Main Ventures Culinary Walk through Bar Harbor and we started off with a really, really yummy Blueberry soda. I love everything in Maine. It has blueberries. They're known for their blueberries. Blueberry pie, blueberry ice cream, and blueberry soda. Our first stop, we grabbed lunch boxes to go and headed to a beautiful scenic spot on the waterfront to eat. And so we're just walking to Frenchman Bay, but right behind me is Veranda, which is the only Michelin star restaurant here in Bar Harbor and Mount Desert Island. So definitely check that out. If you have time, I looked at the menu prices. It wasn't too bad. But we're heading to the waterfront, which looks awesome. There's like a historic schooner back here and everything. Super cool. 
The views of this tour just add to the ambiance. I particularly love the food. I got this lobster roll and blueberry cake that was delicious. We just had an amazing lobster roll. It was so fresh from Independence Cafe and they also make this amazing blueberry cake. It's so good, the coffee cake. So many fresh blueberries and it's because this is blueberry season in Maine. That's why you get blueberry soda, blueberry cake and ice cream. And not only that, they produce 90% of all blueberries in Maine. So good. Didn't need our walk to our next food stop. Hey guys, right here is Bar Island and there's actually a sandbar basically. Me and my mom a long time ago hiked across and now we're just heading to our next stop. This is also the reading room here, which is the five star restaurant where people go and enjoy the finer dining. It used to be the private club that people would escape from prohibition. And I just learned from the store that Maine had a prohibition for 70 years. That's nuts. But yeah, definitely a beautiful place. I was in complete shock because I've been to Bar Harbor a few times and I've never walked along the waterfront here. But it's definitely something you should do if you're here. Galen's. 30 years it's been here with almost the same chef. I really love learning from a local that's been here for so long because Main Ventures, yeah, I don't know, the guide is amazing so far and I'm really enjoying learning more about Bar Harbor. And we're going to Galen's, which has been here since 1986. And we're gonna have some yummy crab cakes next. This restaurant could literally double as a museum and they'll even let you walk in to check out some of the art here. So Galen's actually has the, the largest private collection of main painters and paintings. And this restaurant is so cool. It's so much character. This food tour will definitely spoil you. We got crab cakes next. These crab cakes were definitely a 10 out of 10 and I would come back here in a heartbeat. We're just walking on Cottage Street, which is really cute and has the Art Deco Theater, the Criterion. You can still see shows there today. It was the first Art Deco Theater in Maine, and there's only two actually here. And yeah, now we're heading to our next stop, the third stop. I'm excited because the first two have been amazing. The crab cake was one of the best that I've had, honestly. And it's no wonder because we're right by the ocean where they get everything from. The next stop, you guess it, is perfect for lunch, and it's called Lunch, and it's located right off the town green. This is exciting. One of the stops is Lunch, and a few years ago, I came here with my mom in 2020 during COVID, but basically, this place just had opened right before COVID, and it's so exciting to see that it's still here. I'm excited to see what we try next. Let's see. I'm hungry, but they're known for their soups and sandwiches. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, about to try this giant Italian sub. It looks so amazing. <laughs> mm. Perfect. One of the last stops was my favorite, which is ice cream, of course. And Mount Desert Ice Cream is one of the famous places because President Obama came here when he was on holiday in Bar Harbor. I am really, really tired. We just finished the main venture and it was an amazing food tour, but I am tired, so I came to Choco Latte to grab some cold brew. And now we're gonna do the Park Loop Road. It makes it easy to get around Acadia National Park and see the main sites. I usually do hikes when I come here. I've done Jordan's Pond, the Lake Trail. I've done the Devil Bubble. I've done Beehive Precipice and the Shore Trail. But now we're just gonna take a little ride then go enjoy the Salt Cottage's pool because it is unexpectedly really hot. As we headed to the car, we listened to some relaxing music and then got in for a wild ride on the Acadia National Park Loop Road. Be prepared for some issues with parking if you're trying to go to some of the popular hiking trails. So right now we're on the Loop Road and this is basically all the vehicles that are parked here to do Precipice Trail, which we just passed. I did Precipice Trail in 2020 and I like loved it. It's one of the most dangerous hikes in America they say or trails but it is also one of the coolest I think. But actually one other that is cooler is the Beehive Trail which I think we're coming up to now and that trail has one of I think the most superb views and you see the sandy beach from up there and it's epic. 
I'm just a little bit tired and I've done them before and right now it seems like the trails definitely have a lot of people even though we're here the week after Labor Day is busy here in Acadia National Park still and we have beautiful weather. I'm gonna rewind a bit to show you what Precipice Trail is like. It is crazy. You climb up iron rung thousand feet up and it is beautiful but definitely a little bit scary. I am so excited. I am here in Bar Harbor at Acadia National Park and I have done the hardest part of the trail, the Precipice Trail, which as you can see, there's a warning for if you're afraid of heights and steep cliffs, if you have vertigo, any of that, and I've been able to do it. I'm so excited. I'm out of breath, but I did it. While I skipped hiking this time around, I decided to go to Sand Beach, a beautiful beach within the park. Afternoon. So we decided to take the Park Loop Road. I have my bathing suit because there's actually a beach in the national park you can swim at. It's usually really cold, but I don't know. Today's sunny and I see people changing at the changing rooms. So I have my bathing suit just in case. And the water looks super blue. I don't know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> But I'm from Florida and I don't know, it could be a little bit colder. We're three and a half hours more north than Kennebunkport, so it probably is colder. The weather was so beautiful and the water was so blue, I couldn't resist and put my bathing suit on and headed on in. Alrighty guys, so Sand Beach was a success. I actually did go in the water and I'm so happy I did. It was like only 45, 55 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how like cold it is usually. And I don't know, it's a hot day today, so it actually felt really nice. And look how blue this water is. Honestly, I like couldn't resist. And I hope you don't need to if it's a nice day like this in Bar Harbor. Next, we stopped at Thunder Hole, which is a popular stop here. When the waves are crashing, it is what it sounds like, thunder. Next, we headed to my personal favorite, Jordan Pond. The flowers here are beautiful. You can walk around Jordan Pond Trail and then come here to experience the Jordan Pond popovers. Hey guys, I'm here at Jordan Pond House, known for something special, their popovers. And this thing is huge, check it out. And I'm going to try it, it's pretty airy. I wonder if it's supposed to be like that, I don't know. I'm not really used to it, but I'm gonna try their house-made jelly or jam. Definitely a nice light snack to have. They also have a one you can get with main ice cream filled inside a popover, which sounds interesting. But I want to save some room for dinner later on. But this is definitely a nice break after you take a hike around the Jordan Pond Trail or do the double bubble hike. As well. For now, I'm gonna enjoy this and then see you guys later. The best part of Bar Harbor is how relaxing it is at the end of the day coming to the salt cottage and coming and enjoying some blueberry soda by the pool was exactly what I needed to relax after exploring the Park Loop Road. Yeah. All right. This has to be the perfect way to chill after a day exploring Acadia National Park. And this hot tub is so amazing. And later on tonight at 7.30, they will have campfire s'mores. Oh my gosh, I love this place so much. It's so beautiful and really close actually to Cadillac Mountain. So in the morning, if you're gonna do the sunrise drive up to the summit, or you're gonna just go for part of the day, it's right by here, it was like 0.6 miles away. And then you're also really close to the entrance of the national park. So you can take the park loop road around and see places like Jordan Pond, Sand Beach, and other spots as well. But for now, I'm gonna relax and enjoy this hot tub. After enjoying the pool and drying off, I headed to check out the game room they have on site. And they have ping pong as well as other arcade-like games, perfect if it was a rainy day. But then we headed on out to explore and get some dinner, a little bit different than what you'd expect. We decided to head to Mainly Barbecue because we kept seeing such wine outside and knew it must be pretty good. First impressions, they have really good specials, and not only that, you can dine inside or outside. Here mainly barbecue, and oh my god, I got this El Jefe sandwich, and it is massive. And of course, I had to try the mac and cheese, because I am a mac and cheese connoisseur. And my mom got the turkey melt, 
and it looks really, really huge. And this is such good bang for your buck, in my opinion. Uh, this was $15.99, the El Jefe sandwich, and then my mom has the uh, smoked, what is it, barbecue rub turkey, and that was $12.99, and you get a side with it, potato salad, baked beans, or that, and we just added the uh, side of mac and cheese on the side, but I'm gonna dig in because this looks too good to let get gold. Oh my god, here we go. These are boneless ribs. This is so epic. The flavors are so rich. I love this. I have to try the mac and cheese to top it off. This is a perfect meal. Honestly, everybody loves the, you know, seafood here, and I love the seafood, but I needed to try something different, and this mainly barbecue, we drove past it while we entered Bar Harbor, and there were so many people out front of it. There's an ice cream shop attached to it. This just all tastes amazing. It's refreshing, something different from the seafood options here in Bar Harbor. So if you want something different, I think this is definitely family friendly and just an awesome place. For dessert, we headed back for the nightly s'mores the Salt Cottage offers for free for guests. We're heading to bed for an early start the next day and a breakfast at a place that I've been wanting to try for a while. Cafe This Way, which is one of the most aesthetic and pleasing places to eat breakfast in Bar Harbor. So I just got the main blueberry pancakes and these are so good. We're at Cafe This Way and I was told it's one of the top places to go for breakfast. They're open only till one and usually there's a huge line but today's a little bit cooler outside. So I think we got lucky. But yeah, so far these main blueberries in this pancake are amazing. Mm. And they're very light and nice, I think, to have with a cup of coffee. And I'm having like carpe diem coffee as well. I like the mugs they put it in too. Plus the staff here is super friendly and really welcoming, which I really like as well. But I'm gonna dig in because this is definitely too good, as I say, to get cold. After breakfast, I didn't feel much because it was time to head back to Boston. Alright guys, I'm so dead tired. I didn't sleep yet again before an early, early morning flight. I am flying at 6.01 to Newark, New Jersey, and then I'm going to be heading to Calgary from there. Long day of traveling again. Yesterday night, me and my mom drove down from Bar Harbor, Maine, all the way to Berkeley, Mass area, which is about a six and a half hour drive or six hour drive it was a long drive and then basically a few hours of getting ready and then trying to sleep and now we're here at boston logan airport i'm traveling solo to go to calgary and then bam and jasper and i'm honestly yeah, i'm really excited hopefully i'll be able to get some sleep on the plane but otherwise yeah time to get some coffee I hope this helped you plan an epic coastal road trip in Maine and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next adventure which is heading to the Rockies in Canada. If this helped you please hit the like button so more people can find it and let me know if you have any questions in the comments.